Oh look. What can it be? You on Snaily, you nearly got there. Only 14 inches to go. Well, I came along here in the summer. Um, you'll see the video, because this might be years later. But, look, that's well rotted out. And, but they've taken the beautiful ashes down. <sighs> that was a beautiful style to get over, that was. Absolutely lovely because it had an old ash tree. One of those sat there by it, you know, giving it the shade. But sadly, they've taken it down because well, it was by the road, I suppose. So, well, good morning. Oh dear, it's like every time I go out, there's something sad this year. Well, <laughs> who knows when this will be edited. But anyway, at least, I mean, I have said many years ago, now saying, uh, I did a video saying, go and say goodbye to all the ash trees that you know, because they won't be there for long much longer certainly if they're by a road or by a path so uh, anyway I've done it I've been uh, I've been living living how I speak so uh, and I say goodbye to them hmm well maybe maybe a couple of months ago maybe less but at least I've done it so I'm quite happy about that but really sad i mean that was just as you know when you you have a saw you climb over next to a beautiful tree so you have to spend longer by the tree it's blooming brilliant isn't it well we're going directly ahead what do you want hey no point sneaking up behind me Good job they're not mothers, eh? Hey, what are you doing? Nothing like the sound of thundering hooves coming behind you to, <laughs> to give you some worries in the morning. So yeah, we're going up there. It's a walk I've done before, but I haven't done it for a while. Nor have I done it in this season, which is autumn. But the last time I came here, and it wasn't that long ago, <laughs> so it was, this was brown, what? <laughs> and now it's green, hey! No point eating my food. <laughs> and there's, there's, there are people that wouldn't like this, but they're literally within touching distance of my back. <laughs> Look at them. What? You ain't gonna. No, I don't want you sniffing that lens. That'll be that'll be misty for ages, won't it? Hey, no eating my coat. <laughs> but yeah, this was all. I zoom in on that, that's a nice shot there. Eh? This was all brown, apart from the trees. Yeah, no food here lads, let's sod off somewhere else, eh?
and I thought I'd get out early for the well for, to get some sun because apparently rain's coming later so there you are there's a nice shot It's nice to just see woods all around. And here we turn the corner. The camera seemed to have righted itself. It did get a small jolt yesterday because I kind of semi-dropped it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so it didn't drop completely to the floor. I managed to catch it halfway down and wedge it between between me and something else. Uh, shame I'm a bit late for for any colours coming out of this hedge, but actually I wonder if there were any um, in the other video I've done of here it was, uh, this was full of blackthorn blossom so and as you can see there's still green leaves on here so and even the hawthorn's not properly turned like others have view over the field Some lovely colours in the wood there. Oh, no. So I've come out today because I looked at the long-term forecast for next week and this is my last potential filming day for for a while so I'm probably going to miss autumn this particular year although I do have a store of autumn me shots and videos to edit but I really wanted to go in the woods I was in one yesterday but it wasn't quite it hadn't turned uh, and anyway I was on the ground so you couldn't see colours like are appearing here But this one has. And the dogs are out. I don't know whose they are. The early morning dog walkers. <laughs> and the early morning gimbal carrying madmen. I haven't seen any of those. Now, let's go straight in there, shall we? Look at that. Let's tilt you up a bit. Can you see it in there? see them sorry didn't see you you were hidden behind the other look at this right time to to pan out eh welcoming with open arms eh lovely It's a nice, I mean, look, you can see, look how old that is. That's a willow there. Not ancient, just old. Oh, we could. Let's pop in. Some people do, because there is a path. Greetings.
Hail King and Queen of the Cops. Pleased to meet you. Well, I'm guessing that people, when you come out straight onto this willow, so this is a lovely magical path. Willow in the west, almost. But people obviously do a little pilgrimage to see those two. There is another one. If you look right through there, can you see it towards the back? Guy hidden, really. There. Center shot, lower center shot. I think it's going to be a many battery day for me today. Well, hi, hello. Thanks for joining me. Oh, I should have said hello earlier, I didn't remember to. Anyway, the reason for this video, or what I'm going to talk about, is that something that I've, the conclusion that I've come to over my years of research and noticing and findings and all kinds, is that I believe that a lot of the problems and the reason for certain issues in the world are because men are scared of women. There's a crab apple tree somewhere. Or an apple tree even. Look. I did a little ritual at the uh, oak trees. Yeah. I, yeah, there I are, I've said it. Well, it makes kind of, if you think about it, maybe that explains it all. You know, well, a lot of this, let, let me explain. Right, well, I've said this before, uh, not in loads of videos, but in a few, but, um, 20, 30 years ago or so, I took it upon myself to do lots of research because I was interested in various things, um, you know, because I was making clothes at the time. So I, I looked at the history of fashion and that led me to other things and, uh, you know, and I've been interested in, in gender and stuff. And, you know, so I did a lot of research. I read all the books in three libraries and any other books that I could find on the subject. Yeah, which included, right, it included a book on pirates, uh, female pirates, where there was a section in the back uh, with the names of every known female pirate. And I read the whole list, including the dates and where they were and the ship that they were on. That's how, that's how deep my research was. Uh, and you know, and then looking at other things like why don't women have pockets in their in their clothes? I mean, you know, I know so many women who jump for joy when something has a pocket in. You know, uh, and all kinds of other things like you know, clothes being completely impractical. Uh, <laughs> whole load, of, whole load of stuff. You know. There is a t ah heron. Hit him behind a tree from me. Okay. 
goes. I'm not going to zoom in because we'll lose it. It'll be gone. Oh, that's the first time. Well, we're going over that way, so we might see him again. You know, like, if you look at it, uh, women have all these impractical clothes, like, you know, I've said before, you know, there is a lot of uh, attire that you couldn't wear to come on a walk with me. You know, and, and also the, the perpetuation of how you look is another way to control women. You know, so now it's kind of based on they're appealing to how appealing they are to men or how they can manipulate men is, you know, how, sometimes how it's being used. Uh, but from a practical point of view, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't fight, you couldn't fight or flight within many things that women wear. So there's, they've been given, or you have been given, a preoccupation with how you look and uh, which takes your mind off other things yeah it stops you from using your mind for other things because every night you focus on oh does my makeup look fine you know <laughs> and then to go to the toilet you have to undo and uh, sometimes completely undress yourself to go to the toilet um, now there's, there's a number of ways, you know, impractical shoes, shoes with a heel, you can't run in those, they don't make your body, you know, they don't make your limbs move or your joints move properly they, and, you know, damages your back. Uh, you know, so all these things have been sort of handed to women and, and give them more of a preoccupation with other things rather than maybe looking at what's really going on. Uh, now I haven't, obviously I haven't uh, done a script for this or even got notes. I'm just, you know, I'm just talking about it just to, you know, give people some other ways of thinking. Yeah, uh, a young lad, or a few young lads, recently have said to me that, you know, they've been in bed with uh, a woman that they fancy, you know, and they just have not been able to, you know, not because they didn't want to or anything. Let's have a look at this view. For how that, how's that? Eh? I can't get it much greener than that. But almost because they felt a pressure, a pressure that they had to perform. which they weren't happy with. And I've had the same, I've felt the same pressure myself. You know, because very often, cuddling is far more intimate. And very often sex on the men's side is used instead of the sisters of fingers. Or the, the ladies of the palm. Sort of got a bit brighter there, so just as I was about to film some more. Anyway, yeah. So there is, I mean, I know there's stuff on both sides, or else it wouldn't be happening, but uh, you know, there is also a story where, you know, the Scythians, the Scythian women, uh, you know, the story that the, sorry, the Amazons left the Scythian women because all they were concerned about was wearing diaphanous clothes. So they hopped on their horses because they wore trousers and there's evidence that they invented trousers. Hopped on their horses and disappeared across the steppes to Mongolia to be with the rest of the Tartars. Um, <laughs> because they couldn't stand the patheticness <laughs> of the Scythian women. That's the story. I don't know how true that is or not. 
but uh, it illustrates my point, you know. And so, you know, I've been with women who, you know, they've been all concerned, you've been out in a place like this and they've been all concerned about their clothes. Uh, and, <laughs> mm. You know, and then, then they'll say, oh, it's all done for men. Oh. Well, apparently, if you speak to some women, it's not. But there you go. Anyway, that. But. But the other side of it is the reproduction thing, because basically, women only need one man. The whole. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's. <laughs> you know, it only takes one man to fertilise every woman and perpetuate the the human race, doesn't it? So I think therein lies one of those truths. Oh my God, what the? <sighs> Look at this. It's not like we have many trees, right? You ready? Look at that, hacked. Look at... <sighs> that was beautiful with the low branches. So they can drive something up here. But they could have just cut them. Fuck's sake. Fucking farmers. Yeah, well it is, isn't it? Now yeah, all that, all it needs now is some disease for getting here and we've got another less oak tree. Look at it, fucking appalling. That was beautiful when I came here last, so, you know, I'm, <laughs> it's a good body of evidence I've got coming on the same route a few years apart. Was it? They're scared of some hard work, are they? Oh no, we do it with a with a blade that will hack it off. Always better to hack it. Got some lovely colours now, haven't we? So I was kind of right to come out at this time of day. So yeah, I was, well I'm just saying, you know, this is what I found in my research. And there is, you know, I mean, if you're a young bloke and you're watching this, stop wanking so much, stop looking at porn, and stop empowering, uh, not empowering, but uh, stop validating certain, what's the word? I can't think of the word, but you know, the social media filtered perfection, pseudo perfection, doesn't do them any good, doesn't do you any good, doesn't do the world any good, and perpetuates a bad, a bad version of women. So if you're one of those, just stop. Use the energy some other way, and you'll have better relationships and better sex and yeah, porn erotic things it's all a distraction it's beautiful in this light isn't it just I'm just slightly at the wrong angle for for my shadow well, I'm at the right angle from my shadow, but at the wrong angle for filming. <laughs> so we're going to head down here, and I don't know what happened to Heron. Uh, look. You see any old pictures where the sun looks like that? In October, at what, half past eight in the morning, in the UK.
well we're just going to head down here so I'm going to walk by the side of a house and down a little path but not before admiring this sweet chestnut beauty see it's October and they're not even dropping yet are they? none at all there's a few but you know oh yeah there's there's quite a few but not loads now the direction we're looking in now is actually a footpath to those trees right yeah but it's been ploughed okay well officially we can walk along that Yeah, but who's going to? I think uh, there we are. There in the centre, see those two trees or two lower trees. Yeah, that's the direction. I think you can sort of see there's a difference in the soil that way. But you know, it's one of those things. Should you, if it, when it's like that, should you go across it or round? Hmm. colours in that one on the left. I just wanted to sweep down for these colours down here. And the light of course. Now let's zoom in. And zoom in further. All right. I know you were wondering what that was. What's that? Satisfied now? So we're off down here. There's some old trees down here, some nice old bits of coppice. And I'm not feeling drawn to going in there, though part of me would like to have a look, I'm not feeling drawn. So this is just kind of a, a, one of those in the in the in my series of sex and gender. It's just some thoughts, you know. Uh, I could be wrong, but this is what I've found. Oh yeah, and the when I'm I know I've just got distracted, but talking about watching porn and masturbation. Um, I've now forgotten the reason <laughs> that, ah, uh, uh, damn, I've forgotten my point. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. ta -da. Hello, buzzard. Well, there's where everyone sneaks in, look. Well, not anymore, maybe. Oh, is it an animal path? Ah, it's an animal path. 
but this tunnel's nicer. This is where all the old trees are. Oh look, an old stone trough. And I thought this was going to be the end of the video. Look at that. Mm. Not used, but I'm guessing that wood is a young wood that wasn't a wood when that trough was being used. I've never come the other way up here. <laughs> All right, Chloe.